first morning here at Black Canyon Bulls, we got out in the field. It was Weston and Keith the Outfitter, and Weston was on the calls right away, and we had bugles right away. I was almost feeling rejected. <laughs> you know, and I'm standing there with my bowl and listening to these bugles and thinking, you know what, this could really happen. And it wasn't long, and we were doing some glassing. We saw some great bulls, and we decided to put the chase on them. We got some bulls down there. I was going to say, there might be a few over there. We were working our, our way down to a water hole. Keith, the outfitter, felt like, you know, because it's been 85 every day, because it's been so hot, that these elk are going to move down to the water. It's a pretty heavy bull, huh? And we saw it. We actually saw a nice bull off to our left that I would have taken. But Keith thought we could do better. Would you take him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's an incredible bowl for him. But if you think we can do better. I can't believe that we're passing up a bull like this. A couple days ago, I missed an elk that wasn't anywhere near this big, and I'm having a hard time getting over that. And now we're passing up a bull bigger yet. I could not believe they passed up that bull either. He was a great bull. But Keith of Black Canyon Bulls knows his ranch, and boy, does he ever. So while we're still working this bull a little bit, Weston's still calling, and all of a sudden, this great bull bugles, and we've got nowhere to go. We have to just drop to our knees. Don't move, don't move at all. So there we are, all crouched down, trying to be as small and as quiet as we can, perfectly still. This bull, this monster rack comes up over the top. Let's nobody move, okay? We're pinned down right now. That's a great bull. So there I sit. I mean, heart's pounding out of my chest. There's this huge bull. He's 25 yards away, maybe. And he's raking his antlers on the scrub oak. And I have no shot. And I'm thinking in my head, there's no way this is going to work out. It, you know, one more, <laughs> one more thing to go wrong. Yeah, he's all the way in there. He's all the way in there now. See his head? Yeah, that's a great bull. No shot through there. Yep. He's come up. He's checked us. He did wind us. We had the wind in our favor. And he was just, I mean, he knew something wasn't right. OK, he's moved off. We got a chance to, to make a stalk on him. Who knows? Okay, we can blow him right out, but we're at the, we're at the end of the game. OK, so we'll make our move over here. We got the wind right, everything's perfect. We'll try to make our move and see if we can get on it because he's, he's not coming into this call again. This is a one day hunt. So we had to make a decision whether we were gonna push him or not. And we decided that we had nothing to lose by, by making a stock. So we just got after it. When he would put his head behind a, a tree or a shrub, we'd get closer and we just kept working our way towards him. Where is he? Where is he? He's coming out right here. What do you think? That bush. Right up there. So this bull is behind a serviceberry bush, and we're getting closer, and Weston and Keith had both gone down to kneel, and I was just about to kneel down, and the bull's head popped out. So I, I had to stay standing. And he about stepped about out, he was about 32 yards. This portion brought to you by Mossback Game Calls, the last thing they'll ever hear.